Welcome back everyone. We're continuing to look at superheroes in the Old Testament part of the Bible, which is the old part of the Bible. And so far we've had a look at Moses, we've had a look at Joseph, and I think we've had a look at Abraham. And today we're going to be having a look at David. Now I looked around my house to see if I could see a superhero toy and I couldn't. I've just moved, there's boxes everywhere. All I could find was this rabbit. And I thought, well, he's got a cape, so he could be a superhero, but actually, He's dressed up as Darth Vader, who's a baddie in Star Wars, but I thought I'd show him to you anyway. Look, let's take his mask off. He doesn't look so scary now. He's even got a lightsaber. I can put that on for you. Whoa, which lights up as well. That looks good, doesn't it? So, the superheroes we're looking at in the Bible aren't really superheroes. They're actually ordinary people like me and you that God uses to do his work. And today we're going to be looking at the story of David. Now, I've got a Bible here, and the story you probably all know about David is when he beat Goliath, the giant. Do you remember that story? And he had quite an interesting life, David. Also, you might remember that he had a best friend called Jonathan. Oh, that's a picture of his dad, King Saul. That's Jonathan's dad, King Saul. There's... There is David and Jonathan, and they were best friends. But as you, we've also looked at earlier, that actually King Saul didn't like David, and David had to go on a run and run away. And poor old um, David and Jonathan couldn't see each other anymore, but they stuck together through the tough times. Also, something you might know about David is that David liked to write psalms, special songs to praise God. He had a harp. And he wrote loads of them, and they're in the Bible, and we can read them today. So he was very good at writing music. And also, David had to run away from Saul, and we did that story earlier in the year. And so he spent a lot of time hiding in caves, and yet he still thanked God and trusts God during those times. And today, if you look on our YouTube clip, you'll hear another story about David that you might not know about, you might not have heard about. When King David was older, he actually did a dance to God in his pants in the middle of the street. What's that about? You'll have to have a look at that. So the main thing to remember about this is David wasn't really special. And you might say, Ruth, yes, he was. He was a king. He was God's chosen king. And yes, he was. But remember, he was a shepherd. He was just an ordinary boy. And we need to remember that God uses us and we're just ordinary people and he can use us to do amazing things. We don't have to be kings or kill giants. We just have to ask him to work through us so that we can do his work. Now, there's some great family challenges on the sheet that your parents could have a look at today, which I thought I might actually tell you about so you can have a go. Now, King David, we've already said, was a really good friend to Jonathan. And he, um, they stuck together even when they had a hard time. So have you got a friend you haven't seen for a long time because of lockdown or because you, you haven't been at school that you could write um, a letter to or draw them a picture and pop it through their door? That's one challenge you could do. Also, in today's story, we see how King David danced in his pants. Well, how about, don't dance in your pants because that'll get into trouble, but how about your family have a disco challenge and see who can do the best dance? The other thing um, you could have a go at is King David wrote lovely um, songs and poems. Maybe you could have a go at writing a song to God or writing a poem, perhaps. And also, remember, David always said thank you to God and praise God even when he was going through hard times. So perhaps your family could have a special week of thinking of something to say thank you to God for every single day. Give them a go and see what you think. Now, I'm going to pray now, and if you think... Do you know what? I would like God to use me to do amazing things just like he did David. Then I want you to put out your hands and I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to say a prayer. Dear God, please use me to do your work. I'm only an ordinary person, but I know that your Holy Spirit can help me to do amazing things for you. Amen. Have a great week and I'll see you next time and we'll be looking at another um, Bible superhero. Bye.